Well, hello, my YouTube family. Yeah, you didn't see me yesterday. First of all, it was too bloody hot. I know that sounds stupid. Like, Nancy, you're in the AC when you're recording. So, you, know, you don't understand, people. Um, I had to get my scratch off, which, of course, amounted to nothing. And I also had to do a little bit of food shopping, finally. And then, of course, by the time I got home, like, I am literally, like, the makeup is dripping off of my face as I'm coming up the stairs. Tom was nowhere to be found. Of course, he's lying on the floor next to me. So dramatic. He's in the AC now, too. Um, yeah, it was, it was ridiculous. So by the time I got home, I was irritated, annoyed, hot as hell and I said no not in the mood I'm in not gonna do that to them not gonna do that to me so I chose to skip yesterday's lips of the day however yesterday's lips of the day is not what I'm wearing today although quite similar um the one I'm wearing today is a lip look that I have done before and I I'm so in love with I'm so in love I know the whole nude thing. Not that I'm back on the nudes, but I have to give my nudes some love. This one, I'm in love with it. It's in love with me. Let us start off with the liner, which is really the liner for all nudes all around the world, I think. Chanel Aqua Crayon Lip Color Stick in chocolate. Uh, lined. And filled. NYX Butter Gloss in the color Madeline. I just, I just. Look at that nude. It's just, it's just everything. It's just everything. This lip look right here, people. And, like I always say, the NYX Butter Glosses are to die for. They're just the best. They're just the best. This shade is everything right now. It's everything. Everything. Let's wipe it off. This, along with Praline, which is another nude. But this one right here. Madeline, I don't know who she is. Who, who, what lip lip gloss name what actress or whoever this was named after but thank you madeline hello yes people it is the why does my hair look all askew i'm home why do i care this is the actual lip color of my lips you understand what i'm saying so it may not look like i'm really wearing anything but i'm wearing something and i have done a lip look on it before I absolutely, to die for, love this lip look. It's comfortable. It's in way it's butter gloss. I, I don't need to go any further. I really don't. I really don't. So that was that with that upon that. I do have a little bit of a story. The first story is something that somebody told me. I didn't ask. Just somebody told me. Remember I told you about um, one of the co-workers who uh, I thought, you know, another one bit the dust? The one that was hired, like, literally a few weeks after I was hired? He quit. He wasn't fired. He just up, walked out, and never came back. I don't know what that was about. Another co-worker of mine dropped that bit of info in my ears. I didn't ask for it. She just decided to tell me. So, okay. I'm thinking everybody's just getting fired. But he up and quit. And the guy that used to cover for me for lunch, he up and quit. So that's two quits. And I think the, the, the third one, I think she got fired. But who knows? Maybe she up and quit too. This place is a revolving door, and you know what? 
I can't be mad at him. Let me just put it that way. So that was that with that upon that. Now for today. Um, and it left me feeling some kind of way, which it really shouldn't have, but it did. You know Miss Prissy. Her. She came at my desk and, you know, just stupid idle chit chat. And then it came around to me. Nancy, are you married? I said, no. She said, do you have kids? I said, no. She said, you don't have kids and you don't have. She said, but you have nieces and nephews, right? I said, I don't have brothers or sisters. She said, oh, no, Nancy. She said, do you have any pets? I said, yeah, I have a cat. And she said, oh, no, Nancy, no. I said, no, Nancy, no what? I said, I can go anytime I want, come back anytime I want. I am not beholden to anybody other than the cat, which I'm really not beholden to because I love my cat. I take care of him regardless. I have no responsibilities other than my own. So what's the problem? So she said, but no, no. And then she finished doing whatever she was doing and she walked away. But there was somebody in the reception area who literally was at the agency pretty much all day. And then she chimed in like, what was that about? Why did she bother to ask you all of that? I said, I don't know. She said, look, I'm not married either. I may have children, but I'm not married. I said, but it's still a different thing when you don't have anything. Like you don't have a husband and no kids or you have kids and no husband I'm I'm zero for zero I don't have a husband or I don't have kids so she said you just live your life the way you want she said are you happy I said yeah I'm happy she said well then I said yeah I know well then I'm not making an issue out of it she's the one that made an issue out of it I didn't make an issue out of it then the woman left and I'm sitting in the reception area by myself and don't you know that this kind of like, not a guilt complex, but a, I started to doubt myself. Like, what is wrong with me? Why don't, why didn't I want kids? Why don't I have a man in my life? And I just started to go crazy. I really just, you know, it was just playing with my head. I kept cool. I wasn't like, you know, hysterical or anything. But... I, I, I was like doubting myself, like what is wrong with me? Why, why, why am I not even interested in looking for a guy? Not, that's not to say that I don't look at good looking guys. As a matter of fact, yesterday I surprised my own damn self. Went into the store to get a, my lottery ticket, my scratch off. The guy who opened the door, he was coming out. The guy who opened the door, he was about six foot something. And he was good looking. And he opened the door and I said, thank you. Bought my ticket, came back out. Now I'm walking back to my Jeep and I see him standing there. He's standing there eating like a bag of chips. I don't know what possessed me. As I'm walking to the Jeep, I stopped and I turned to him and I said, is it hot enough for you? And he said, oh my God. And then we started talking. No more than maybe five to seven minutes, the conversation. We're talking about the heat. And he goes, you don't understand. I'm, I'm, he said, I'm 58 years old. Yeah. I don't know how it turned to, to age, but he said, I'm 58 years old and I can't take this. And I said, I'm 54 and I can't take this. And he said, see, then you understand. I said, yeah, I understand. I said, but you should be eating cheap the chips in your air, air conditioned car. <laughs> and he started to laugh. He was standing in front of a pizzeria. He said, I would, but I have to get, uh, I'm waiting to get some pizza. I said, oh, okay. Well, I said, you stay cool. He goes, that's the reason why I'm standing in the shade. And he said, you have a good day. And I said, you have a good day. And I got in my Jeep and I drove off. As I'm driving away, I'm thinking to myself, what possessed you to do that, Nancy? Like, you're like openly flirting with this guy. I didn't even check to see if he was wearing a wedding ring or nothing. I just up and started talking to him. Thank God he started to talk back. 
I mean, he could have made me look stupid and just just turned around and walked away. But, you know, he, he seemed like a friendly kind of guy. And when he opened the door and I looked at his face, I, I immediately thought, oh, man, he's good looking. But normally, me being who I am and knowing who I am, I would never do that. I would never, like, openly start a conversation. And I sure as hell did. But that was yesterday. Today, Miss Prissy drops this, oh, no, Nancy, no thing on me. And now I'm feeling some kind of way. I'm trying not to. But I'm not going to deny the fact that every blue moon or so, I do think about, like, oh, my God, Nancy, you're going to be alone. I don't know for the rest of my life. I really don't. I can't predict the future. But if I don't have somebody at the age of 54, ain't no man out there looking for no 54-year-old woman. So I don't know. I, I really, I honest to God, don't know. It's just, I, I really, I have no idea how to feel. Should I, you know, should I feel some kind of way? I feel some kind of way, but I don't like the way I feel. Because it's almost like she guilted me into why are you living this sad, pathetic life? But then she a youngin'. So I really shouldn't give a rat's ass what she thinks. She's like in her 20s. I don't think she's in her 30s. But she could be in her 20s and have five kids. I don't know this chick's life, but... Obviously, now she knows mine. I just, and she's very displeased with it. I really shouldn't give a rat's ass what you think. But I'm not going to deny the fact that she made me feel some kind of way. I'll shake it off. I have no choice but to do so. I'm not going to change my life to please anybody else. If I was meant to be with somebody, maybe I'm meant to be with somebody at the age of 60. I don't know. Or maybe I'm not meant to be with anybody at all. I don't know. But yeah, it kind of makes me think that, okay, I did live with somebody for seven years, but that didn't work out. And I've dated off and on, but no lengthy, you know, no, after the seven years, I, I was actually with that person a lot longer than seven years, but we lived with each other for seven years. I think we were 10 years in total, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't even remember, really. But obviously, he was meant to be with the woman that he's now married to. He wasn't meant to be married to me. But am I supposed to be married to anybody? Or am I not supposed to be married to anybody? It really shouldn't matter. Am I happy the way I'm living my life? I'm not, I'm not displeased with it. I'm not disappointed. I'm not feeling pathetic. But she, the way she said what she said made me feel pathetic. I really need to shake this shit out because I really shouldn't give a rat's ass what she thinks. Who are you? You're not my sister. You're not my aunt. You're not my cousin. You're no relation to me whatsoever. So, but... Words do hurt. No lie. It's the truth. Words do hurt. Whether she intended to hurt me, that was her intention. I don't know. But I could I could turn it around and think, well, maybe she thinks that, you know, I'm such a good person or a nice looking woman that I really shouldn't be alone. So in that regard, she's saying, no, Nancy, no. Like, why is a woman like you alone? Maybe I choose to be that way. I'm not outwardly looking or seeking for anybody. I'm not on any dating sites. I've been there. I've done that. It's tiring and it's exhaustive. Exhaustive? I don't even know if there is such a word. It's just, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. And I don't feel like being, you know, getting dressed, hiking up the sisters, 
meeting some guy at a bar and I've been there, I've done that. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I mean, of course, nobody's going to be knocking at my door that looks like Henry Cavill and going to sweep me off my feet. That ain't going to happen. But I don't expect to, like, go food shopping and have my cart bump into Mr. Fantastic's cart, our eyes lock, and ooh, the angels sing and all of that. That's just in the movies, okay? My life was never a movie. I'd like it to be a movie, but it's not. Either way, I'm going to shake this feeling off. It just made me feel some kind of way. And I don't like the way it's making me feel. So there you have it. That was that was the thing of the day. Story of the day. Whatever you want to call it. Anyway, there is something to look forward to tomorrow. Uh, my supervisor won't be there. That will be a great weight lifted off of my shoulders. Not that I'm going to do anything sneaky or anything. I'm still going to do my work. But knowing that she won't be there will just make it the day a little bit lighter. Plus, I'm going to be working late. So if you see me, you see me. If you don't, you don't. I'm just letting you know right up front. Okay? Okay. So on that note, that's it. That's all I've got to say. Um, again, I'll, I don't worry. I'll shake it off. I'll I'll shake it off. Like, why? But with me, when my feelings get hurt, intentionally or unintentionally, I guess I get wounded easily when it comes to my feelings, and it takes a while for me to get over it. Just like when I'm upset, when I'm angry, it's an all night thing until the next day and hopefully it goes away. But yeah, this it stung. It stung a little bit. It stung a lot bit. Not a little bit. Let's not let's not front. It stung a lot bit. I don't I don't know if I should No, I'm not even gonna say that. I was gonna say I don't know if I should try to change my ways and if I'm happy the way I am, then why shouldn't you be happy for me? But she a youngin, like I said. You know, when I was 20-something, I probably said something stupid to somebody who was older or whatever. Not realizing that, yeah, your turn is going to come. And here it is. So, yeah. Okay. I'll shake it off. Don't worry. On that note, that is it. That is all this. Lips of the tail. Oh, sweet Jesus in heaven. Yes, me likey a lot, a whole hell of a lot. And I, um, yeah, that's it, that's all. I love my YouTube family. <laughs> Hit me up, let me know what you think. I will talk to you tomorrow, but just remember, you won't see me on Monday. Three-day weekend. Looking forward to it like nobody's business. Okay. I will talk to you tomorrow, okay? I love you. Mwah. Bye now.